Lise, let's move on now to the financial review where the splash to mobile fuel curry is fuel excise cut a trap for labour. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg has drawn a line under an extension of the six months 22 cents per litre cut to fuel excise should the coalition win the election, while Labor has kept the option open. The halving of the excise for six months, which will cost the budget a neat, uh, a neat and a net $3 billion, was a part of an $8.6 billion cost of living package featured in Tuesday's federal budget. Uh, many wedges have been thrown around the place over the past couple of days, uh, Lee, so I think the government will be watching uh, Jim Chalmers' reply uh, and Anthony Albanese when he rises in the chamber tomorrow night very closely to pick any holes they can in it. Yeah, well, they've kind of wedged Labor, haven't they? Because they've set the, the six-month time frame on, on halving the fuel excise, which, as I say, I think for consumers, it's, it's great news. And I know Bronwyn Bishop has been a huge advocate of the fact that, you know, it worked for Howard. She was certainly saying that it's something that, the, that Scott Morrison's government needed to do in, in this budget. And they've given it you know, a six-month window. So what does Labor do then? Labor's not going to turn around and say, well, we're not going to, we're gonna, we're not going to do that. We, we won't, um, mm. we'll, we'll shut it off if we get into government. So then do they not extend it? So then if, if Labor gets in, the coalition is basically mm. in a position where they can say, well, you know, we gave it to you, Labor took it away, or Labor then has mm. to extend it, and it's a huge hole in their, in their, in their bottom line. So it's, it's very smart yeah. politically, I think, from the government, but you know, it all fits into that a political budget and election budget. Yeah, I think the uh, the narrative that we saw coming out of the government today was how, you know, they're trying to sneak into government, they don't have any policies, they're vacant, as we saw on the front of the Australian. It's going to be a very interesting end to the final sitting week of this parliament, that is for sure. Yeah.